White Sox. Definitely too small. Big DVD TV show season here, guys. Avalon season 18 would go for like $50. All right, guys, good morning. Another Sunday morning back down at the flea market. Arguably the best flea market day of the year because the sun is out and I've just seen the vendors in here and it is stacked to the back, which only means there's gonna be a ton of stuff for us to find. We're trying to flip this stuff for a profit onto eBay. Let's go in and we'll see what we've got today. So much opportunity. This is a cool jersey. The White Sox. Hey, you like the White Sox? You're a White Sox fan, are you? No, I'm my nappy. Oh, gotcha. Ah, that's cool. How well, much on it? I don't know, five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah. It's not bad. Some gold coins. You got any more? Um, stuff. Yeah. Just um, the scuba stuff. Oh, scuba stuff, yeah. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Have you found some stuff? How much on the shoes? Um, 60, 60, and... 80 for bronze. Okay. So they're under, all under retail. What size? Um, that one's a... Nine and eight, a half. So some of them are a bit like women's, so... Yeah. That one's a woman's, but I think it's a 10 men's. Okay. Cool. That and then a few, a few more in there. A few there. more here. Yeah. yeah, sick. They're just Jordans, so it's 100 for the Jordans. 100 for the Jordans. All brand new, haven't worn them, so... Yeah, they're awesome. They're really cool. For Jordan, yeah, it's... Absolutely. What size are those ones? They're a nine and a half, actually. Nine and a half. Morning. So they're turnkey. Yeah. Um, I can do a deal if you want to. Shoes are tempting for sure. Would you go 15 on those three games? Yeah. Yeah? Sick. Too easy. Yeah, I have a thing about the shoes. Yeah, definitely. Here you go. Thanks, bro. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. So that $15 purchase was our first buy of the day. We've got three PlayStation 4 video games here. Unfortunately, Morrowind isn't worth really anything at all, but we did get some really good winners here. We had Metro Exodus Limited Edition. This is the Aurora copy. It's a steelbook with some extras, and it was going for upwards of $40 to $45. And then we've got Mortal Kombat 11 here on the PS4, and that was going for about $25. Tempest. Uh, Sicconi, yeah. How you doing? I follow you on um Oh you watch the videos? Yeah, I love them. What was your name? Oh Tanya, you know, I'm just new but um through following you, yeah, I bought a foot rocks. Split. Oh, book. that's a I'll great book. Now, how good is that? I'm sold at 420. You know, well done. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah, that book series does really well. What have you got there? Picked it up for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, just yeah. some random cards, yeah. hey? 650, 650 in there. Oh, is there? It could but be. They're looking new, you know, like Kmart ones. They do. There, there yeah. might not be any rare ones in there or anything no, no, like I'm that. I'm looking at that just to flick it off. Just to flick it off. It'll be somebody, I don't know, mate, I'd go. You bought it for 20? Yeah. I'd go maybe 30 or 40 oh, on it. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, it won't be anything too crazy, but <laughs> someone might grab it. They might find something in there that's rare and want it. So keep an eye on their reaction when they're looking through it. Because okay. they might be like, oh, what is that? I love watching you on YouTube. No worries. Thank you so much. See you later. Yeah. This looks like a, uh, this is like an eBay collection if ever I've seen one. <laughs> Hello, mate. Yeah, How you doing? Good. First time here. Oh, thought, incredible. I was hoping I'd bump into you. I was going to say, it looks very, very <laughs> eBay-ish yeah. to me. So, no, nah, it's been good. What was, what was your name? Ah, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy? Yeah, yeah. Awesome so, to meet you, man. Yeah, yeah, you too. Yeah. Mate, what's the, what's the go with all this? Are you getting rid of it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've had a baby, so just trying to keep yeah, the stock and yeah, no worries, so. Nice. Yeah. Geez, that would that'd go alright, wouldn't it? The fugitive. Yeah, the VHS. Yeah, so VHS is a bit tricky. Like sometimes they go for a bit and some. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what do you, what are your prices like? Um, yeah, about two two dollars a DVD. Yep. Yeah. Nice man. Yeah. Where are you based? 
Uh, down in uh, Vicky Point, Brisbane. Oh, you're in yeah. Brisbane? Yeah, 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 okay. So, I mean, even if you don't get rid of this stuff today, I can come up during the week. Oh, yeah. If you're looking to get rid of some yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I've got heaps from at home, but it's yeah. to do it in the past. So. Absolutely, yeah. fit what you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, what's the best way to get in contact? Just Instagram probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you got me on Instagram yeah, you can yeah, shoot on we can chat around a date and a time that yeah, works yeah, and I can come out and yeah. I'll buy I'll grab some stuff off you today and we yeah, can yeah, no do a bit yeah. more throughout yeah. the week. Yeah, I'll give it a yeah. yeah. Is that Blu-ray? This is a one to eight. Season one to eight. It's okay. Season eight to five, I think. Is he? Yeah. Full tank, I've never heard of that. Add that we might create a little pile somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Put it on back nah, because I'll build up too. <laughs> I'll build up too much. You'll be in the video, you don't want to be in the video. <laughs> We've got the unit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is that due to just listing less, do you reckon? Yeah, just the sun. It's about less than the time as well, so yeah, just kind of makes it hard. And... <laughs> makes it hard. Yeah. These are building up a little pile here, aren't we? <laughs> Alright, well, I reckon it's that stack over there, my man. Yeah. That's what we've so long. Done. Yeah, yeah right. let's do it. Yeah, it's a natural one, it's not too bad. Yeah, 15 seasons I think of that one. Oh yeah. So it's a um it's a partial set, but yeah. it'll do okay. Yeah, no, it's not Unreal so my man. Yeah. Um I'll grab your I'll grab your mobile. Yeah, yeah. Beauty mate. No, good cool. stuff, unreal. Yeah, hey mate, how you doing? You well? Good, how are you? That's alright, yeah, good. Yeah, these mate. Yeah. Hey man, how you going? Hey man, what's happening? I you in a while. All here. Yeah. All good? Yeah. Um I'd be really curious to see what the fugitive was that I had initially in my hand because as soon as I put it down, somebody grabs it and I was like, oh no, I should have just held on to that. this dude? Uh, not Kanye. See these are actually great like eBay type collectibles and that's a that's a good VHS player. See this is the sort of stuff that does well on eBay. Yeah. Even this You've sort been of stuff. getting rid of those for a while now, hey? Those... Yeah, they, the, they actually do really well. Um, but even these plush toys, because the, oh that says 2005 and it says The Simpsons. Yeah, okay. Like, so it's like a genuine, yep. genuine plush. I'd actually, even though I've stopped doing it, <laughs> I'd still look at those. As a bundle? Yeah. Maybe just... I reckon I still would. <laughs> I'd say I broke my rule. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. That's right. <laughs> well, a lot, uh, some can do well. Yeah. As a bundle, that yeah, I think so. If we went. Are these yours, are they? Yeah, Unreal. Oh, well, we're moving from Upper Kuma to. Um, Good to see you. To Palmy. We just got a unit, so. I'm so you're clearing more yeah, out? I haven't sold all the Simpsons yet. I'm starting to downsize on the bus. I was going to say, you wouldn't want to be getting rid of this. Yeah, nah, the plush toys. This is your pride and joy, this stuff. And that. Yeah, but the plush toys will go first, as you know. Hats and plush toys. Hats and plush, they're always they'll the first, first go. I shouldn't be buying these. Yeah, exactly you know right. that, too. So you'll get them cheap. You you'll know that. I know. Um, what about your VHS player? Uh, what are we doing on it that? works. I'll do 20 bucks. 20 bucks, I'll do. Yep, I'll do that. What about those? What do you want to give me for those? Uh, I'll give you 10. Yep, sounds yeah. great. Done. There you go, mate. You haven't bought anything for ages. No, no. We're on. <laughs> We're on. That's awesome. Nah, sick, bro. That's brilliant, mate. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. We'll keep in touch. Have you got me on the, uh, Instagram? Yeah, I do. Do you want to shoot me a message whenever yeah. you're free? And Definitely, bro. I'll come around. Sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. I will do. Right, see you, mate.
You got some good hats there, mate. Yeah. You picked them up today, did you? Yeah, yeah, 50 cents each. 50 cents each, that's a... Like up there, a box full of them. That's a bloody great crowd. Yeah. That's why we come down, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, well done, sir. Well, that's actually, a, that's a great that's hat. That's a great, great hat. That's yeah. a vintage hat. It is. Yeah. It's got the, um, look at the the inside of it. Vintage. The son in law collection. Yeah, right. And is it a, um, oh yeah, it is true vintage. Yeah. yeah. Well played. Yeah. 50 cents. 50 cents. It's a steal. I'll give you $2 for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely too small. That's a shame. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, pretty successful morning down here. We've been able to grab a bunch of different DVDs. We've got some video games, some plush, and then we've got that VHS player over there as well. I think the best thing out of today was the fact that we were able to get those two private pick connections. Um, so we're going to get one midweek in Brisbane, and then we're going to get another one next weekend as well. And I think as much as it is great to try and find all of this sort of stock out there at the flea, it's more about being really inquisitive and asking a bunch of questions with the vendors to try and round up these opportunities to buy even more stock later on down the track. Um, obviously helps when you've got a bit of a YouTube audience because you can speak to these people, they already know you. Uh, but initially you want to just try and build rapport, ask some questions, get to know what they do, see if they are an eBay seller back home, which is often the case. A lot of this stuff here uh, was from obviously the fact that he was an eBay seller. So, so many different ways you can grab stock. It's not always about what you're seeing in front of you. I reckon it was a pretty successful mission. I was pretty reluctant on the shoes today. I'm always reluctant on shoes when I'm here at the flea because you do find a lot of fake shoes. Um, I just don't want to be buying them just yet because we, we are experiencing a slower sales period for the shoe category on eBay. So we're going to probably do some repricing in that space with all the shoes that we've got at home um, before I'm happy to go out and buy more shoes. That's why you might have seen in the video we showed a lot of shoes, but I didn't actually end up buying any shoes. Um, it's for that reason. But a bunch of plush toys, this isn't something that I've ever wanted to do again. But when I saw a bunch of Simpsons plush, um, it was $10, super cheap. And I reckon we can flip this for about 50 or 60 bucks. They are genuine and they're 2005, so almost vintage. Um, so all up, we've spent $85. I'll put on screen the value of all of this. I'm not sure exactly what it is right now, but I will know post exactly how much it's gonna be worth. And we're gonna go ahead and do what we always do and get this listed up straight away. So, very, very stoked. Another week at the flea, we've killed it. Worth the trip alone. Oh, oh look at these. Do you mind it going in the video? Oh, no, I don't mind. You cool? Yeah, yeah. And you paid, you paid 15 for 15. these? It was the first booth on the left as well, one of the, because you said all, go to the left and you come in, so. Go to the I left. To the left. <laughs> go to the left. Yeah. You go to the left and you find this. That's incredible. Yeah. Sorry, what was your name? Patrick. Patrick. Patrick is down from, <laughs> up, I should say, from Adelaide. Adelaide yeah. And he's just come in for his first time at the Crow Markets and he's found these docks. They'll go for like 150, 200. Yeah. And they're in light new condition. Yeah, yeah. And they're a great size. Yeah, she had them on a table that said 15 all items. I was... 15 uh, bucks. Kind, and I bet you grabbed surprised. it at 701. Uh, first up. No, about 10 past. 10 past. Probably. That's yeah. where you get your best <laughs> items in the very first hour. Yeah. Mate, well played. All right. Cheers, Unreal. Mate. No dramas at all. Appreciate Unreal, it. mate. See, ya. See you later. All right. We are back home. Back home with all of that stock. Now, I actually, um, I actually did a comp when we got back on this VHS player, and it sells really quite well. It sells for like hundred to hundred and twenty dollars. So paying twenty dollars, the fact that it works, and we've got the remote as well. Um, we'll ship that off for about 20 to 25 dollars, but that was an awesome grab in the end. Um, bought that sight unseen looking at the comps, but I was pretty confident that doesn't sound good. That doesn't sound good. We'll have to test him, obviously. But 120 dollar comps, fingers crossed it works. Uh, now we've got 10 sales. I, th I think what we do today, rather than actually doing it on a Monday like we normally do, we're here on a Sunday. We may as well just go through and look out the orders from the weekend. Um, we've got a total of 15, 16, 16 sales, but we should have about 20 odd by the time tomorrow hits, um, which is pretty typical for us over a weekend period. Um, but there are, as always, some great sales to talk about. And the first one here is this one, the Sydney Swans Zip Up Jumper. Now, this one sold timely, obviously, of the fact that they just won yesterday. They beat GWS and they are through to the semi-final or prelim, it's a prelim final. Um, 
We only got $29.99 for this. It's a women's size 16. Uh, it's probably sat in the store for about five months. We bought it at the flea market for about $5. So it's a real bread and butter sort of a flip, five into 30. Um, but we'll put this into a small satchel. It's, it's a quick win. Well, not quick because it was five months, but it's, it's just one of those ones that I'll always grab whenever I'm in places like flea markets or thrift stores. Completely genuine, as I've spoken about in previous videos with that AFL on field. That's a really good tag to try and find for the AFL gear. Um, but yeah, that was a, good, a good, good little sale to kick things off. I did sell um, another one of those camera accessories you guys may have remembered in a thrift store, I bought all of these vintage cameras. Well, we sold a little, I don't even know what it is to be honest, because I'm no camera expert, but I'll put the comp up on screen. Uh, we sold one of the cameras for $280. We bought all of it for $50. Uh, and then one of those cameras sold for 280, plus that other accessory that I think sold for $40 earlier in the week. So we're well into the profit on those cameras and we've got a bunch more down here. If you want to, Kate, you want to put the camera over. All of this is unlisted a lot of camera accessories that I haven't yet gone through. And there's a lot of really good valuable lenses here, um, but I'm just a little bit concerned around maybe potentially some issues with fogging, uh, maybe some, I don't know if there's cracks, but there might be just some fogging issues going on. So I'm a bit reluctant to list those up. That's why they're still there, but we're already massively into the profit off all of that. This was hiding in there too. And this is a sale that we had come through from over the weekend. The brand is actually called Jabra. Um, it's an ear pod case or an ear in a headphones case. Um, this was Kate's, who's behind the camera, filming today. She doesn't want to be on camera, but it's just a work in progress. Um, she lost her earphones. And I said there'll be some value in the charging case. So she said, go ahead and list it up and see what you can get for it. And we sold it for $45. So 45 bucks on a very, very small item, a little charging accessory for a pair of headphones that are gonna be worth a whole lot more than the charging case. Um, but we we're still able to recoup some money back on that. Um, so that'll go into a small satchel as well. We probably won't need to put that into a box. I think with enough bubble wrap, we'll be able to put that into a small satchel and that'll be fine. Um, so yeah, if you've got items around the house that you've lost accessories or parts to, and you've only got little bits and pieces left, still try and sell it because even individually, they can be worth a bit of money. So you would have seen Matt run around with us at the flea market. He's just turning up now. He's just come over because I forgot to bring over the 10th sale of this video. And he's about to make the purchase right now. There they are right there. You can zoom in on that, Kate. Not bad, eh? They're very good. Oh, very, that would actually fit you perfectly. They look really good with my uh... We're filming a What Sold video and you're making a live purchase. Oh, here we go. A live purchase on camera. <laughs> Um, that's awesome, mate. Perfect. We're doing this Bargain. for 30 bucks. And that was in a recent vlog that Matt watched. And you said, straight away. said I'm straight away. And actually you were one of three. Yeah, nice. I had three messages for those, but you were in, you're in person, to be honest, if you're in, if you're in third, they would have been yours. <laughs> Good we'll fella. Good fella, mate. No, we'll leave, we'll leave that in. You get preference. You get preference. Uh, cause you're local. I don't have to ship. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Um, so yeah, 30 bucks on those. We, pay, we paid $8 in the thrift, um, but they are genuine. I, I was showing those classics. guys, yeah. Hardwood classics. That's what you want to be finding because that means they're going to be genuine. And uh, I don't know. Product placement, mate. Product placement, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Maraki pod. Actually, yeah, if you guys haven't checked out the podcast um, <laughs> that Matt and I did, um, how many videos you got up now? Two? Uh, two. Another one drops tomorrow. Another one drops tomorrow. So we probably by the time this video is out, there'll be three to watch yeah. and I'm one of them. So if you haven't seen it, I'll link it in the description below. Thank you. Um, and then Maddie's come through and grabbed a $30 pair of shorts off me as well. So Perfect. can't thank you enough, mate. No, thank you. Now, after our um, crazy DVD purchase that we made in the last vlog that you guys would have watched, we had CSI. It's actually just down there. It's that big stack there. That's already been listed. We've just got to skew it. Um, we've got to put it into a tub and that will go back onto the shelf. But CSI there is worth $180 alone. Um, and we actually got another haul as well of um, massive TV show season box sets, huge amounts. I don't know if you can see it here, but this is actually part of it. All of that there, this All Saints collection, that All Saints set goes for about $140 or $150. That's every episode of Supernatural. Um, so we got episode one to eight today, but that's actually episodes or seasons one to 12. And I think there's 13, 14, 15 down there as well. So that goes for $150. Um, we got this off a hoarder. So there's three towers. This is all to be listed still. 
uh, and then we've got these two tubs that have been listed. But a part of all of this collectors, I've already shown you All Saints and Supernatural that was pretty good. This is the best one of the lot. We actually had Heartbeat. Every single episode of Heartbeat, all the way through to the complete final season, which is season 18. Um, that alone, season 18, would go for like $50. It's such a rare DVD set to find, and yet we've got the entirety. We are actually the only listing on eBay for the complete set of Heartbeat. So I'm listing that up for $330. And I think I'll put the numbers up on screen. There's definitely a few people watching and a few people having a look. So I reckon that will sell pretty soon. This one though, we have sold. We've got Boston Legal here. Seasons one to five of Boston Legal, it sold for 40 bucks. Um, so a $40 sale price isn't too bad considering that will fit into a small satchel and the small satchels cost us $8.50. So at most you're paying $2 a piece, $10, and then that's selling for $40. Um, we'll probably make ourselves about a $10 profit after fees and postage. So not too bad. The DVDs are starting to pick up in sales because we're buying more of them recently. So if you list up more of a certain category, your old stock is going to sell through in the same category. At least that's what I've come to notice. We're continuing to have some pretty good success repricing up our video games as well. This tower now is complete. So as you can see, we've got a lot more space uh, down the bottom here than we've ever had before. And that's because a lot of them went up here to group um, listings and the group listings have already sold, like instantly. It's always the way, $3 as a bundled listing, you'll sell it immediately. Um, so we don't have any, anything left apart from a bunch of Call of Duty games up here really. Um, so these are all priced at $20 plus, and these two have come through for $30 a piece. Reason why we got a little bit more for these, the PlayStation 3 games, we've got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and we've got Call of Duty Black Ops on the PlayStation 3 as well. Um, so that was a, a joint listing. They sold together. Somebody went into the store and bought both. So we're going to put that together in some bubble wrap and put it into a small satchel for $8.50. Um, but overall, we got a $60 sale price. I think it was 60, maybe 40. Comps will say on screen. <laughs> I can't remember what they sold for. Eight, nine, and season number 10. Big DVD TV show season here, guys. And it's only a partial season set, but we've still got some great money. The TV show that we're speaking about here is Spooks. So we've got Spooks season eight, nine, and 10. That is a bit like Heartbeat that we were speaking about season 18. Spooks season 10 can sell really well on its own too, people trying to complete their sets. Um, so I thought this would be a relatively successful listing because it was seasons eight, nine, and 10, which is the last three seasons of the set. Um, we priced it up for 10 bucks a piece, $30. We got the $30, but we also got $35 of international postage. We're sending this off to the USA. Um, now they are Australian playback DVDs, but that still means that they can go overseas because people with region free players um, can still play these region four copies. Um, so don't be afraid to turn your international postage on. I just wouldn't be turning international postage on for big orders like Heartbeat, because that's gonna be a really heavy item and international postage is all done on weight. Um, where these, obviously only three DVDs, it won't cost as much to send it off because it's not as heavy. Um, so that's probably the only stipulation there around international postage for DVDs. Um, but season eight, nine and 10, $35 postage, $30 sale price, 65 in revenue. Um, pretty unreal. Now, you may have remembered these from the last vlog. We've got the Adidas NMD R1 V2 men's running shoes. So these here were in great condition. They were my size. I only paid $6 in the thrift for these uh, and we're able to go ahead and get them sold for 50 bucks. I listed them for 60. A very quick best offer came in at 50 and I just thought, yeah, $6 into $50 to get money in your pocket straight away, why not? Um, I also did it because, I've, as I've spoken about, I'm a bit reluctant on the shoes. I said it when we were at the flea market just before. We're not selling too many of these, and I need to go through and reprice them all before I go ahead and buy more. I bought these because they were only six bucks, and I knew that they were genuine. And fortunately, we randomly got a really quick sale on them, maybe because I didn't price them up too high. There were some comp sales for about 70 or 80 on these shoes, but I think we would have waited for a hell of a long time. And I think that's what has been the case with all of these. So we've got to drastically get this week, corny when she's in Monday, Wednesday, we'll probably have to work through all of these 20 tubs and just reprice them ever so slightly lower. And that might start to see a few more shoes come through. If we do get more shoe sales as a result of that, I'll continue to buy shoes again.
Now, part of the video game repricing was this tub right here. A uh, little tub of Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. And I went through all of these games right here. If you want to put the camera on these, Kay, we've got Harry Potter, we've got Cyber Tiger, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, we've got Pocket Soccer. None of those games are worth anything more than like 15 to 20 bucks. Um, and then the same goes for these Game Boy Advance games. There was nothing really too much over the $15 to $20 price. So I actually went ahead and listed them both up for $35 and $35. And then somebody came through and offered me $60 if they bought everything. And it was a very cheap price because there's six, 10, 10 of them, 10 games, and I sold them for $6 each. But then when we do our bundle lots, we only sell these for $3 each. And I kind of treated this like a bit of a bundled lot. Um, so the fact that we were able to get them just out the door, gone, probably wouldn't list these sort of price points up again. Um, to get a $60 price for all of it and to get it out to one buyer, only one shipping cost, I thought that was a bit of a win. Have you seen Better Call Saul? Yep. You have? Love it. Great TV show, Better Call Saul. Even better, Breaking Bad. Great. Great show. Um, complete series set of Better Call Saul. This one here was comps on eBay for about 90 odd dollars. Um, we got a $75 best offer acceptance on Better Call Saul. So every single episode of this one, love the fact that it's in a nice clean box set. Um, we'll probably put some bubble wrap around it and fit it into probably a medium satchel, I would say, off that one. But um, yeah, I, the sell-through rate is just wild when it comes to just complete series because we only had this for maybe five or six days listed. Very, very short amount of time. We listed it this week. I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Um, so a really fast turnaround on this. I think pricing it like we did, with the best comps at 90, pricing enough for 80 and then accepting 75. Again, got this sale, a bit like the Adidas NMDR ones. So you can drastically speed up your sales process by not undercutting the market. Don't get me wrong, I'm not looking at all the comps and then going, right, we're gonna be the absolute dirt cheapest. I'm just going, right, out of all of these price points ordered out, we're gonna go smack bang in the middle and then we're gonna allow best offers to come in and maybe fall even into the bottom quarter. And that's generating really, really fast sell through rates for us. So. People aren't doing that enough. They're not putting in the research to check those numbers, sort by highest to lowest, and then find yourself in that mid-range price point. But if you did, if you took that extra couple of seconds out of your day to do that, you'll start to see these really quick sales come through like we are experiencing. And this one, so far, because it is only Sunday at 10 a.m. right now, we've got a little bit of time left in this weekend, so there may be some better sales to come through, but right now this is number one. And what it is, is the Power Rangers. We've got some Power Ranger action figures here. I have a full set of six, all the different colored Power Rangers. I used to love Power Rangers back when I was growing up as a kid. Absolutely loved it. I, I even had a Power Rangers um, uh, costume. Yeah, I was a Power Rangers guy. Pretty cool. <laughs> I thought I was pretty cool. Uh, I don't know, I can't remember what color I was though, but uh, no, it could have been red. Yeah, it could have very easily been red. Um, but these were quite a cool collector's item. I got these in a private pick. Um, so they came through in a private pick that I went to the Sunshine Coast for, about a three hour drive. And I picked up a few items that I've already profited on. Uh, I think these were worth about 180 odd dollars and I took a very generous $100 best offer. So they did go relatively cheap compared to what I had them initially listed up for. Um, but again, they've sold in a bundle of six. We'll put them in a box for about 20 bucks. We've already profited massively off that private pick haul. And it gave us $100 back in our pocket to go out and reinvest into some more stock. And that's what the game's all about. Get it out of the house. Get it into somebody else's hand that's going to enjoy it far much more than me, even though I am a Power Rangers fan. Uh, they will enjoy this more than me because I'm not a collector of anything. I just like to buy stuff and then sell it. Now guys, the Sydney Swans, they knocked over the GWS Giants in a monster game yesterday. I watched every single second of it and loved it. But what the big mission for me is with this channel is we're trying to knock it, we're trying to run ourselves up the membership ladder of the AFL. All the AFL teams, we're trying to knock them over one by one. Now we've already knocked over the Gold Coast Suns. They were easy. They were about 20 odd thousand members and we've got 31,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. But my mission is to take over the team that these guys beat yesterday, the GWS Giants. Now, Kate, there's about 35% of our audience that are American and they don't know what AFL football is. 
So for you guys that are American or UK based or anywhere else around the world that doesn't know Australian rules football, I'm going to put a little clip up here of Isaac Heaney, who plays for these guys, the Sydney Swans. He took mark of the year last uh, night or yesterday afternoon. I'm going to roll the clip for you right now. Clearly their best player. This is mark of the year. If they still paid it in finals, that has beaten everything. So that's the game. AFL football, it's a pretty crazy game. Unlike any other sport you'll see, I've been heavily involved with it my entire life. Absolutely love the game. And I want to knock over Collingwood. Collingwood have got 106,000 members. I want 106,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. So you guys can help us out here by hitting that subscribe button right now. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video, guys. Uh, we've got a lot of stock that we're going to be shipping out right now. We've got a lot of stock that we've bought today that we're about to list up. And this is just what we always do. We just cycle this stuff in and out of this single car garage and we call this thing a job. It's pretty cool. So thanks for being here for this one, guys. Go and watch this video right here. Uh, an awesome vlog, goes for about 40 minutes, so sit back and relax on that one, and we'll see you over there.